If we had a fight, how would you make it up to me? Contestant number one. Hey, how are you? I missed you. Um, so I would gaslight you into you thinking you're the problem, and then I would Never abuse mind. you emotionally to you get to a point where you only get satisfaction from me and if I tell you you look good or anything like that, and then I would start slightly treating you better so you'd think I'm changing. And then I w it would be this off and on until you're almost hooked for life. And I'm like, almost like a drug to you, where <laughs> even when you're not around me and we break up, like you're yearning for me like nicotine. Oh, and if that doesn't work, I'd get uh, go to a movie. I'll <laughs> <laughs> a movie, okay. All right, who are you most attracted to? She's going to pick him. This one, the black jacket. You said the first one in the black jacket, or did you say the guy behind him? <laughs> <laughs> the level of sarcasm here is legit impressive. Like, he legit turned his sarcasm has him in the game. Nevertheless, she still picked him though. <laughs> it's almost like modern women today are signing up for their hearts to be broken because she can never say, well, you didn't tell me you would be like this. No, he's telling you this right now. <laughs> he's telling you that he practices within the dark arts. So you can't say he didn't warn you. If a guy asks you your body count, is that a red flag? No, but I feel like it's something that's relevant to ask if you're getting into a relationship with someone. Why is it relevant? Because it's just your past experiences, specifically warning, like, what's your body count? It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> But I mean, w wouldn't you be curious? I don't think so. You, know, you just never would need to know. Is there a reason I should be curious? I don't know. I, I, I think for me, I feel like men naturally will have a higher body count, so I just expect it. But I think if a guy asked me my body count, I'd be a little like, why? But that's just me. If it's a cool person and they're coming at it just trying to get to know someone, it wouldn't be a red flag to me. I find it so funny that modern women today want you to memorize literally everything about them except for their body count. <laughs> Why is that? Because they don't want to be judged for being free. You wanting to know my body count is just a construct of the patriarchy because men just don't want women to be free and liberated. Let your patriarchy go so you may never judge me for anything that I've ever done. As if there's not biological reasons as to why men are wired this way. No, it's about a construct that we need to dethrone. And by the way, I refute what she said about about men having more partners than women on average, as it's been reported that 30% of men under the age of 30 haven't had sex since 18 years old. Had a standard, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Women didn't pass it. So we went from 2% of you, the enlisted forces. Are you to saying no woman passed it at all? Very, very few. Very few. So there and are so, women who pass it. Right. Okay. But then we lowered them. Mm -hmm. We created two separate standards, okay. male and female standards. Mm -hmm. For example, like in the Marines, a woman can do half as many pull-ups okay. and get a perfect score, okay. which I think is asinine. Okay. Then we created a gender neutral test. Okay. Less than 10% of men fail, okay. still 65% of women fail. Okay. So no matter how much we continue to lower the test where we eliminate, for example, pull-ups in the Army, we eliminate push-ups entirely. Okay. Uh, we change the times required for both men and women. Uh, women still fail at a higher rate. So okay. all of the physical metrics that we've used, we've lowered for women, and it, it, it hasn't had good results. Okay, but here's the thing. You're saying that there are, you're saying very few, but there are women who pass. Sure. Okay. Your, que your question is, right now, is women should not do any combat sports. So are you including the women who did pass? I didn't say combat sports. You said, I'm sorry, combat rules, my bad. Combat rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, if, we, if, we're, if we're saying, if, for example, if your position is, hey, if we return to the standards of the 70s, for example, mm -hmm. the same exact standards that mm -hmm. were required of men, mm -hmm. and women met those, mm -hmm. sure, let's say yes. Then you would um, disagree with the statement? I, w I, w I would disagree. It would be based on real world data because okay. we don't, here's the thing, we don't have the data from those women, right? Mm -hmm. We do have the data from the lowered standards. Okay two times the bone fracture okay. rates, right? 65% uh, higher oh, wow. physical disability discharge rates. Okay. For every percentage point you increase okay. uh, a squad of police with women, mm -hmm. every percentage point of women that you add to it, the chances of them being the victim of violence, all the entire squad goes up 20%. So Whoa. we don't have the real world data of those elite capable women. Okay. Uh, but if we did return to those standards and the data would bear out that they were just as capable, I would have no problem. There's no equality on the battlefield. There's just combat. But the funny issue is that most women don't want to join the armed services. They just want the ability to know that if they wanted to join, they could. According to those numbers, the more women that you have, the more cost, right? The cost of injury, the cost of early discharges, the cost of more danger to your squad or your unit. I really wonder if those particular costs have been quantified because it'd be interesting to see if there's a dollar cost associated with lowering these standards. But listen, at the end of the day, G.I. Jane, Wonder Woman, 
and Captain Marvel are all fictional characters. The real heroes are the men that are on the front line, patrolling the streets, fighting the fires, ensuring that our civilization prospers. And I'm not saying that women can't do these things, but there's an argument there of lowering the standards for them just because they want to feel included. Oh, ACL. Oh, they just gonna keep going? Rude. It's crazy how she just kept the moving like that and they scored on the other team. But in this example, the brotherhood instinct kicked in, even if he was on the other team. The world desperately needs more masculinity, not less. Testosterone is at all time lows. Sperm count is at all time lows. Mental toughness is at all time lows. The problem is that we've been brainwashed to fear masculinity, but we need it more than ever today. No child wants a weak father. No woman wants a weak husband. They want someone that is purposeful, family oriented, directed with high integrity, spontaneous and noble. Fathers in ancient societies taught their young boys to lift, philosophize, and contemplate life. But the Industrial Revolution destroyed this bond, and instead caged boys up and told them that masculinity was toxic. Now men are weaker than ever and growing up even more miserable. Insecure fathers have created even more insecure boys. And without a proper role model and initiation, boys never become strong men. Ironically, this ends up affecting women just as much. Part of my mission is to help men reclaim claim their masculinity, find their deepest truth, and live it every day. Live up to your duty and embrace your masculinity. She just pepper sprayed me. She just pepper sprayed me for no reason in my house. What? No, I ain't following you nowhere. No, I don't have a gun. Wow. You Hold up, is she tarnishing the idea of believe women? Or well, y'all think there was more context to this? Really doing this lying stuff again? I'm recording everything. Again? Please, Why are you no, still please with hurry, her? Because she's crazy. Please, please hurry, she's crazy. Thank you. Please hurry up, she's crazy. No, I'm not. I'm upstairs. You downstairs. Do what you do. No, I'm not. Do what you do. She's lying. Do what you do. That Believe All Women shit went out the window a long time ago because of videos just like this one. Watching shows back in the day like Maury should have told y'all this. But it's impressive how these modern day Jezebel liars have managed to create and maintain a movement off of their need to incite debauchery with no repercussion. Usually the BS that you see in videos like this happens when the man has everything to lose and the woman has nothing to lose. Gentlemen, listen to me. Stop playing relationship or being buddy-buddy with people with nothing to lose. Why? Because these are the most dangerous people on this planet. Just think about how crazy that you have to be to pepper spray your man and y'all home and claim that he's following you around with a gun and you're still sitting in that same home. If you were actually scared or you actually had a genuine threat on your life, logic would bring you that you would leave the home. But this ish will not stop until lying, destructive women, just like this one, are locked up for this egregious behavior. They will continue to play the victim card by any means necessary, including destroying a man's reputation until they can have complete and utter control of the situation. But this is concrete evidence of why I keep telling y'all to put up recording devices, put up cameras in y'all cribs. But thankfully this brother had the wherewithal to at least get his phone out in the heat of the moment. But a full recording would have been infinitely better. And to all the simps out there that think, oh no, I got a special one. Mine is unique, she'll never do that to me. Y'all are exactly the same ones that have it happen to. So, protect yourself or pay the price. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me over tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Do you guys agree with the things that I said within this video? Did you disagree? Let me know down in the comment box down below. Last but not least, guys.
got a fantastic Patreon. If you're interested in being in my inner circle to interact with me on the back and outside of YouTube, then y'all already know where to find me. Until next time, YouTube.